another episode of Smackdown Live Recap. And as you can see, Melissa's not here with us because she went a day early. But that's okay. But she can see. Finally, I get the chair. <laughs> this hopefully it stays that way. Okay. Um, of course, it starts off Smackdown with AJ Styles. He wants to get he he wants to get something off his chest, um, but he wants to say it to his opponent's face. So he asked Dana Bryan to come out, and so he's like, "Can he? Can then you come out, Danny Bryan?" And then Danny Bryan comes out, and he goes, he says he's sorry, and then Daniel said, "said No, you need to be sorry. I respect for Styles as a wrestler, but he doesn't see Styles as a friend, a colleague." All he sees when he looks at Styles is a title. Mm-hmm. And then... Shane so, McMahon shows up. And then he's saying this Friday he's gonna beat him. But then H.R. Styles says, that's nice. But he wasn't finished. He said that kick was meant for Danny Bryan. He wasn't an accident. He was meant to do it for him. And... Yeah. Um, Shane shows up and says, "You know what? Why wait? Why wait for Friday? Let's yeah, do it now." Yeah, because um, Styles and Daniel were going at it, saying, "Why wait? Why don't we just do it now?" And then Shane and Ban came out and said, um, "You know what? Why don't we do it for tonight instead of Crown Jewel? Let's do it, Dan Bryan versus AJ Styles for the WWE title match right now." Well, they changed up a lot of things for Crown Jewel. That's why they set it up tonight. Yeah. So that means the first match of the night, Dana Bryan versus AJ Styles for the W World title, and that match actually was a really good match. I mean that was a good match. They put their they put their bodies on mine, they did really good. I respect AJ Styles and Dana Bryan, they did really good. Yeah, but what finished the match was Styles doing the Styles clash and then putting it into the calf crusher. Yep, make Styles won. And then they After put- the afterwards Styles and Daniel Bryan shook hands and they hugged it out and then Samoa Joe just comes out of nowhere, blindsides them, beats them both up and puts them both in the Kakina clutch. Yup. And that's all it was. And then, the next match. The next match? Wait, no. No, before that. Styles sh- uh, goes and sees Paige, and then he uh, he demands that Paige set up a match for Crown Jewel. Oh yeah, cause he wanted um Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe. And Paige is like, well, first she was like, really, you want you want him after what he did and whatever and what he just did. But Joe's like, no. Styles was like, no, I don't care. I want him in Crown Jewel. So she gave Made it to him. Match. So, so the match is. So it's gonna be Styles and Samoa Joe. For the title at Crown Jewel this Friday. Now he can do the match. And it was a trick or treat street fight with Biggie and Cesaro. Now, here's the funny thing, right? Yeah. The New Day dressed up like the brood, and that was the funniest thing ever. Yeah, let's see. We had Xavier Woods dressed like Edge, um, Kofi was Christian, and Biggie was. The other one. Viscera? Yeah. And and to any of you young people, the brood was them when they were doing the... Before to ever Twilight was ever popular, they had vampires. I think they were doing like a tribute because... What was it? Um, what's that vampire movie? I'm trying to remember. Lost Boys was around during that time. So WWE tried to do the cash grab for that to do the vampire emo thing before Hot Topic ever came in. Yeah. And let's see, Cesaro didn't look like to be in no costume, but Seamus looks like he was wearing a lot of makeup on. Like a zombie. And Biggie Show was with them. Yeah, of course. So during the whole, during the match, everybody kept fighting everybody. Everybody was getting, Cesaro tossed Big E into the pumpkin piles, and Big E put him in the, uh, him in the pumpkin piles, and then he... Irish whipped Sheamus into the table. It was crazy. And Biggie won the match. Yep. That, ma- that, 
The match was actually an interesting match too. Fun to see Kofi trying to do a suicide dive into Big Show, but Big Show counters and choke slams him. Yep. And then, then we had like another backstage thing with Paige. She asked Charlotte to if she can be team captain for the women team at Survivor Series. But Charlotte told her she doesn't think she's good for the job. And Paige is just like... Thinking about it. Think about it. Just think about it. And then it ended up like that. You know what should happen? There should be a match for someone to qualify for captain. Instead of just picking somebody. The, you never know, you know. And then, then you got another backstage moment. Um... Shane was talking with The Miz, Randy, Ray, and Jeff about the World Cup, saying whoever makes it to the finals and loses against a Raw superstar... They better find a job at Raw, right? Yeah, that means... Fired! They won't be having a home at SmackDown. They're fired from SmackDown. So, Miz, Randy, Ray, and Jeff, whoever loses against Raw, you're not at SmackDown anymore. Oh yeah, so I added a little bit of pressure onto it. Yeah, there's a little pressure on the SmackDown guys. You never know, Raw could do the same thing, so you no, never know. It could be it could be swap or something, you never know. Um and then there was another then the next match was Ooh, this one. <laughs> oh Oh, Missy's gonna be pissed oh, because Missy, she's not here. Missy, your man, Nakamura, come on! First is our truth. First our truth. And we knew that this was gonna happen. Sometime in the match, they're gonna do a five second dance, a seven second dance yeah, off. Dance break. <laughs> but Nakamura, of course, be our truth, of course. But before, but that match, I think it, what the commentary said, I think it was actually supposed to be Nakamura versus Ty Dillinger. But Ty Dillinger got injured, so they actually made our truth and Nakamura. So at least our truth gave a push. At least he's like... I mean, our trip actually did a couple punches on Nakamura. It's not like he literally did... You thought it was for the title. No. I, no, I didn't thought You that. thought. You were thinking, is it for the title? I don't, I don't know. Can you, can, can you imagine our truth actually winning, uh, winning a title? But... Alright, let's do this with and, the Becky uh, Lynch. Yeah. And Becky Lynch comes out. She's saying she proves she is the man from Evolution because she beat Charlotte. And she said all the women in that uh, locker room doesn't step to her level. And then she's saying, hmm, what's next for Becky? And everybody's chanting Ronda, Ronda. And they're like, really? Ronda? Really? And she's like, she's going to rip Ronda's arm off as a virus series and end it like that. Yeah, as a main event. Miz and Randy versus Jeff and Ray. Booyaka booyaka. And another good match. Um, yeah, another good match. But at the end, of course, we see Je we we'll see Randy bullying poor Jeff again. Yeah, the bullying. Of course, Miz and Randy doing their dirty moves. Make sure the ref is like not paying attention. So. You know, so Jeff don't get a tag in Ray, and Ray's still sitting there like, oh, I want to get in there, I want to get in there. And then he finally got in, he did win a 6 one 9 and stuff to Miz, and then stuff that. And they won. Jeff and Ray won. Yep, and then after Jeff pinned uh, the Miz. RKO to Jeff and RKO Ray. RKO to Jeff. RKO to Ray, because Ray tried to, was on the top rope trying to move by RKO. And Miz is in the ring, and he gets an RKO, yep, too. Yeah, Miz is like, yeah, go, Randy. RKO. You know, I, I was hoping it would be like Randy RKing out random people. And the, the thing like, if I don't get this guy, I'm RKOing everybody in sight. That lady with a small child, RKO. You know, Randy might win this on for the SmackDown side. No, but who, or Ray. Or Ray. Ray. He might. Ray or Randy might. I want to see it? your dad get mad and be like, I quit. I don't want to do this no more. But who on the Raw will win? Kurt Angle, Seth, Lashley, or Dolph Ziggler? I don't know. I don't know. 
But um, that was SmackDown. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you like the trick or treat fight? Did you like um? At least they did so a one Halloween themed thing there. Do you like the dance break with Tristan and Carmella? Do you like with Miz and Ray and Jessica Can't wait Man? for tomorrow. Yep. Do you are you excited that it's gonna be Samoa Joe and Styles at Crown Jewel? Did you like that match with Dana Bryan and Styles? I thought it was a good match. Um I say give them another match. They might have another match in the future. But Cause it feel it felt rushed. You know they 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 had to rush the match. So let us know what you think. Um and yeah. So See you guys tomorrow. Yep. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more SmackDown recap and stay tuned for 205 and NXT. Bye. Bye.